Imagine a world where you can travel from Los Angeles to San Francisco in just 30 minutes. Sounds like a dream, doesn't it? This is the future of transportation we're talking about. So let's take a look at the need for speedier, more efficient ways to get around. Our current modes of transport, while proficient, have their limitations. They can be slow, expensive, and not always environmentally friendly. Well, that dream might not be too far from reality. Welcome to the world of Hyperloop. Hyperloop, a concept that has been making waves in the transportation industry. But where did it all begin? Well, let's roll back the clock to August of 2013. Elon Musk, the man behind Tesla and SpaceX, released a white paper titled Hyperloop Alpha. In this document, Musk proposed a new mode of transport, a high-speed system he dubbed Hyperloop, designed to whisk passengers between cities at speeds approaching 700 miles per hour. This was the seed that sprouted into what we now know as the Hyperloop. But Musk's vision was so ambitious, he decided to open source the idea, inviting anyone and everyone to contribute to making the Hyperloop a reality. In response to Musk's call to arms, several companies sprouted, two of which stand out, Virgin Hyperloop and Hyperloop Transportation Technologies. Virgin Hyperloop, formerly known as Hyperloop One, was founded in 2014, just a year after Musk's white paper. The company quickly became a front-runner in the race to build the world's first operational Hyperloop system. Hyperloop Transportation Technologies, also founded in 2014, took a different approach. Rather than seeking traditional funding, the company operates on a crowd collaboration basis, harnessing the power of a global team of engineers and designers. Flash forward to 2020, and the Hyperloop concept has moved from theory to reality. Virgin Hyperloop conducted the first ever passenger test in November of that year. Two brave souls, strapped into a pod, were hurtled down a test track at over 100 miles an hour. It was a short ride, lasting just 15 seconds, but it marked a significant milestone in the development of Hyperloop technology. So here we are, a decade after Musk first proposed the Hyperloop concept, and we've seen it evolve from a mere idea on paper to a technology that has successfully transported humans. We've witnessed the birth of new companies, seen the power of open sourcing, and watched as brave test passengers were propelled at speeds previously unheard of in ground transport. From a theoretical concept to successful passenger tests, the Hyperloop has come a long way. So, how does this futuristic mode of transportation work? Picture this. You're in a pod, inside a low-pressure tube, gliding at lightning speeds from city to city. This isn't science fiction, it's Hyperloop, and the science behind it is as fascinating as the concept itself. The key to Hyperloop speed is its environment. The pods don't travel through air like cars or trains, but through a tube that's had most of its air sucked out. This creates a low-pressure environment, significantly reducing air resistance, which is one of the main factors slowing down traditional modes of transportation. But how does the pod move inside the tube? This is where magnetic levitation, or maglev, comes into play. Each pod is equipped with magnets. When these magnets interact with an electromagnetic field in the tube, they create a force. This force lifts the pod slightly off the tube's surface, allowing it to float. By eliminating contact and friction, the pod can glide smoothly and quickly through the tube. But floating isn't enough. The pod needs to move forward and for that, we need propulsion. Hyperloop uses linear electric motors. These motors generate a magnetic field that moves along the tube. As the field moves, it pulls the pod along with it. Imagine pulling a metal ball with a magnet and you've got the basic idea. Now combine these elements. The low pressure tube reduces air resistance, the magnetic levitation eliminates friction, and the linear motor provides propulsion. Together, they enable the Hyperloop pod to reach high speeds, comparable to those of an airplane, but on land. However, speed isn't the only advantage. The Hyperloop system is powered by electricity, most of which can be generated from renewable sources. This makes it a potentially green mode of transportation, emitting far less carbon dioxide than cars, trains, or airplanes. In essence, Hyperloop combines speed, efficiency, and sustainability into one revolutionary mode of transportation. However, as with any groundbreaking technology, there are challenges to overcome. One of the main challenges faced by Hyperloop technology is ensuring safety. 
The concept of transporting passengers at speeds exceeding 700 miles per hour in a near vacuum tube raises valid safety concerns. Questions such as, what happens in the case of a power failure or emergency stop, require meticulous attention. Potential solutions are already in the works, with engineers focusing on redundant systems and rigorous safety protocols. These include multiple power sources and advanced braking systems to ensure a safe and smooth ride, even in emergencies. The second challenge is the cost of infrastructure. Building hundreds, if not thousands of miles of near vacuum tubes, especially in densely populated areas, is a costly endeavor. However, innovators are exploring cost-effective construction methods and materials. Some are considering the use of solar power to offset energy costs, turning a challenge into an opportunity for sustainable design. The third hurdle is navigating the complex world of regulations and securing permissions for construction and operation. The unprecedented nature of Hyperloop technology means that there is no existing regulatory framework to follow. This can slow down progress as authorities grapple with how to regulate this new form of transportation. However, ongoing dialogue between Hyperloop companies and regulatory bodies around the world is paving the way for future legislation. Lastly, there's the challenge of public acceptance. Convincing people to step into a capsule and be whisked away at supersonic speeds might be a tough sell. However, through transparent communication of safety measures, trial runs, and gradual introduction, public confidence in Hyperloop technology can be built over time. Despite these challenges, it's important to remember that every revolutionary technology faced hurdles in its early stages. What's crucial is the ongoing dedication to problem-solving and innovation that continues to push the boundaries of what is possible. Despite the challenges, the potential benefits of Hyperloop make it a technology worth pursuing. So what does the future hold for Hyperloop? Imagine a world where you can zip from Los Angeles to San Francisco in a mere 35 minutes, or traverse the distance from New York to Washington, D.C. in less than an hour. Hyperloop is poised to revolutionize the way we travel, transforming our society, economy, and environment in the process. As we look ahead, Hyperloop's potential societal impact is profound. It could foster greater connectivity among cities, enhancing cultural exchange, and giving rise to super-regional economies. It's not just about faster travel times. It's about bringing people closer together, breaking down barriers, and creating new opportunities for collaboration. Economically, Hyperloop could stimulate growth by facilitating rapid movement of people and goods. It could catalyze new business models, spur innovation, and make our cities more productive and sustainable. Not to mention, it promises to create thousands of jobs, both in its construction and operation. Environmentally, Hyperloop stands to be a game-changer. Powered by renewable energy, it could significantly reduce our carbon footprint and contribute to a greener, more sustainable future. There are several ongoing Hyperloop projects across the globe, with companies like Virgin Hyperloop and SpaceX paving the way. They are testing, iterating, and refining this technology with a vision to make it a reality in the not-so-distant future. As the lines between science fiction and reality blur, Hyperloop presents an exciting look into the future of transportation.